Hi, this is Jim Buett again, and in this lesson we're going to show you how to use the image processor in Adobe Bridge. Now you can see over here we have some files, and once again I want to show you the uh, way we have the folders set up. Uh, this is the client, and we've arranged it with the uh, all the raw images going into the A folder and then we'll be processing those and putting those into the BJPEG folder and when the uh, client picks uh, some images to work with we will create uh, Photoshop layered PSD files which will end up here and then the final ones that go to lab will be in D and those will be the final JPEGs. So let's get this back here and let's just click on the uh, first uh, folder here and as you can see if I uh, make a little bit smaller you can see how many images we have in here uh, quite a few well, we usually do a simple pre-edit when we go through it and the way I find to be uh, uh, one of my simpler ways to do it is I've actually created another screen and if you come up here to where I have full and when I click on that basically it just shows me the images a little bit bigger and I can scan through and just basically click and very quickly find any blinks that we might have and a lot of times uh, I'll remove these at the very end but usually uh, at this point I needed to have uh, this uh, gray chart for the color balancing but if I needed to remove it I'd basically just click on the trash can up here in the delete and I would uh, get rid of that image there for me very quickly so you can see we can kind of edit several different ways and setting up these little uh, uh, work screens are great and once again uh, I've mentioned this in the uh, one of the last tutorials how to arrange that and it's very simple once you get the arrangement say you're moving things around and you wanted this to be a little bit tighter here you just go up under window workspace and new and it'll give you a chance to uh, name that and you can name it anything you like and then you've got the uh, space set up for you and what's nice is you can click on them come back and it'll save your positioning and everything for you so let's take a look here at what we've got and after we've edited these images here uh, we might actually have to do a rename these I actually had already named here but say we didn't have these done yet the, it's a very simple process you just uh, select all the images here and you come up under tools batch rename and right here you can uh, type in the uh, new name usually I'll do the clients name here and then possibly first initial and then a couple underscores and a date sometimes not always and then uh, we start with the number sequence generally one and usually we're going to be doing three digits when you click on it it'll rename the whole group here for you so now that we're at this point here I'm going to show you how you get into the image processor and uh, uh, create the uh, final uh, presentation files, which are generally going to be a little bit smaller. So let's just do this on, uh, say, three images here. And you'll find the image processor under Tools, all the way down to Photoshop, and Image Processor. You'll also have batch here in case you needed to do uh, batch processing on some things, but that's uh, the way we used to have to do it until they came up with image processor, which has a lot more capability, and it actually still lets you do uh, batch processing at the same time with actions. So when we go into image processor, we've got those three files selected, and what it gives us a choice of doing is uh, you don't necessarily need to worry about opening up one image here because we kind of know what we're going to be doing. Saving in the same location just means that it's going to put it in its own folder right down here inside the A RAW file. Very simple, and it's always going to be right within that folder, so it's a lot easier than clicking on Select Folder and then click in here and trying to navigate through your hard drive and find out exactly where your folder is. I find I wasted a lot a lot of time doing it that way. So just save it in your same folder. The JPEGs that I'm going to make are going to be smaller. So we can resize it. You can do 1800 by 1800 and that's roughly a 4 by 6 aspect ratio. And once again this is not cropping the image. It's resizing it to fit within 1800 by 1800 and that way it's still going to keep its aspect ratio of horizontal or vertical and down here you can run an action I happen to have all sorts of different actions available to me and you can pick whatever you'd like to run 
at this point, I don't need to have any actions run. We're just going to save it within a 4x6 file format. And when I click Run, you'll see how long it takes. It goes relatively quickly. And there it created the folder. And now all three images are processed. So now if we come down here and we get back into uh, the raw folder, and watch when I click it open, here's our JPEG. And here's the three new processed images. And so you can see they're JPEGs. They're only 600K. If I go back here and grab that same image, it's 12.78 megabytes, as you can see down here. So a considerable difference. And if you're doing a presentation and you want to uh, show all these images, it's going to make it a little bit difficult there. So what I'm going to do now is process the rest of the images, and then I'm going to uh, come back, and then we're going to show you how we do a presentation of this. There, now that we have all the images processed, you can see we have a new folder there. And if I go into it and click on it, here are our new images. And if you look down here at the very bottom, you can see that they're only about 600 some kilobytes each. So they're considerably smaller and a whole lot easier to work with. So what I want to do is I want to get all these images into the BJPEG folder. So basically, if you just do a select all, just click and drag them right into that folder. It just takes a second or so. And then if you like, you can just delete that folder. And now you've got your initial camera raw folders or you should folder, and now you've got the B JPEG folder. So now at this point, now we can do some presentation uh, with these images. And I'll keep it brief because we've kind of gone into this a little bit in the uh, previous uh, uh, tutorial. So if you just take a look up here under View, Slideshow Options, uh, Slide Duration, we're going to leave it at two seconds. No captions, scale to fit. Uh, dissolve is usually a very, very nice uh, um, uh, transition to have, but you can have it slide in. Let's just do that just for a little different uh, look. And if you just click play and you don't have anything selected, of course, it's going to start from the beginning. So here we go. Click that. And as you're presenting the images, typically I'll have either music playing in the computer or usually I'll have uh, music on our sound system, which uh, always kind of uh, adds to the atmosphere. And generally, when we're doing a presentation, we're doing once through the whole uh, group of images so the people can see everything. And then we'll go a second time and we'll step through them and I'll show you exactly what we're going to do. So this would be playing through till the end and then we would start uh, talking to the client go back to the very beginning and then if you just hit the space bar it brings up the image one at a time and then we can actually go through individually let them take a look at each individual image and at this point is when they're going to tell us if they like an image or don't like an image so if they like this one and they say yes we'll just hit uh, command one and all of a sudden you see a little star appears down here and we keep stepping through with our uh, arrow keys and they like this one. We gave it two stars already. So we've already starred some of these um, images here. And now let's take a look at them. So now with the uh, star system, we can go up here, take a look at what we have for individual uh, stars, single one. The second stars would be their uh, uh, favorites from the uh, first go through. And then finally, the three star would be their final choices. So these are the images that we're most likely going to be working with as uh, Photoshop files. And the way we end up there is we go back to the original camera raw image. And let's just do that with number 28 and show you how we convert that into the uh, image that we're going to be working with in uh, Photoshop. So basically we're going to go back to camera raw, or I should say the camera raw images find number 28 and of course you'd be doing this with all the different images and if you click on that go down to Photoshop image processor and this time instead of a JPEG we want to make a PSD file with it 
And once again, you can run an image if there's something that you're going to do. Uh, a lot of times I'm uh, running a portraiture softening effect on the images so we can have a, a little bit more consistent skin tone. Uh, sometime I'll do that um, on the final images as well and maybe a, sh a small action that would uh, give me a duplicate layer so I could actually be working on the retouching right away. In fact, let's just do that one here. It's in my action set and towards the very bottom retouch layer and adjustment levels. Let's go ahead with this one image and of course we're saving it in the same location and it'll of course it'll be a PSD file this time. And so you click it and right off the bat we're going to end up with a new folder and if we take a look down here here's our PSD image and folder. When I click on that and we're going to drag that into the final PSD folder and I do have one there already so I don't want to replace it I'm just going to auto resolve which will just give it a number one next to it and of course I can go back here and delete that at the same time so if I come here and we're going to look for number 28 here's the one that I have done some work to and here's the one that I just brought in so let's take a look at this so here's the initial one without any retouching and that's the one that I actually already did. And let's open both of these just so you can kind of see what's going on. This is the one that I said had the layers on it. I'm just going to hit the F key so we get rid of the uh, busy background. And you can see I've got the initial background layer here. And then I also have a retouch layer, which is basically just a duplicate. And this is the layer I'll do all of my retouching on. And then at the very top, I have a little levels adjustment. And if you see, it's just a very minor highlight adjustment. I have that on sometimes. Sometimes I'll turn it off. So it's just my option. And then let's just go back to bridge. And let's open this image here. And let's see what we actually did to it. And so here's our regular image. I'm going to bring it in a little bit. That's the image without retouching. That's the image with my final retouching. So you can see there's a lot that you can do with it. And of course, we're always going to save it as the PSD file and leave the layers intact just so we can come back to these if you have to. So I'm just going to close both of these, not save it. There we go. So now we're back to our final images. And let's say we're getting this one prepared to go to the lab. And let's just take a quick peek here. We do have a JPEG folder in here already. And let's see, I'm guessing I already have uh, one in there. And that's because we've done that once before. So let's just go ahead and do that again, just so you can see how easy it is this time. And if you just grab the image, come to Image Processor. And this time, we want the JPEG. And of course, we do not want an action. And we do not want to resize it at all. We want it to be a full size. We click OK. And it's going to jump right into that JPEG folder that already exists there. And so here's the one that we've uh, already done some work on. And then here's the uh, second one. And you can see it gets a little bit of a, a one added to it uh, because there's a, it's a duplicate image. So because I don't need that one, I'm just going to delete it there. And that's the final image that would be dragged into the D lab folder here. So let's do that. Here's our final image. I'm just going to drag that down here into the D folder. And now this image here is all set to go to the lab. And so that's a start to finish um, use of image processor and uh, showing some of the uh, presentation uh, uh, to the uh, uh, client.